So as I may have mentioned, um, searching Google and visiting websites was going to be a big, uh, uh, something I looked forward to uh, for both home and business use. Uh, I could research products, uh, um, maybe make purchases if I wanted to, whatever. But there is no web browser on the Google Home Hub, um, which there is no way to get to any websites uh, that I have found um, up until now. I've searched uh, endl endlessly uh, videos on YouTube. Uh, from, my, from my phone and computer, I've searched Google. Uh, there's no way to do a traditional Google search and then, and then choose a website, or there's no way to just visit a website. So I found a workaround today. I haven't seen anybody that's mentioned this workaround at all. Uh, again, searching YouTube for hours and websites, nobody's really um, mentioned this. Um, so anyway, so let's let me let me show you what I found. So, hey Google, view website fastpack.net. Sorry, I'm not sure how to help. Hey Google, visit website fastpack.net. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that yet, but I'm trying to learn. Hey Google, open website fastpack.net. Well, there's no screen to show websites on. That's what I was looking for. Uh, no screens or browser, I assume, to view websites on. So I found a workaround today. Um, so let me show you what I've got. Hey Google, view images from Fastpack packaging. My apologies, I don't understand. Hey Google, view images of bubble wrap dispensers from Fastpack packaging. Showing pictures that match. So if you know the if you know the company you're trying to find their website um, and, and a product on the website, you can probably search like I did. Like I said, this is a workaround. I'm sure they're gonna come out with a much better way soon, I, I really hope. But this is just what I've figured out. So uh, I wanna visit the website, but while we're here, let's look at Amazon. There's an Amazon listing for a bubble wrap dispenser from Fast Pack Packaging. Look at this, visit amazon.com. Boom, we are now on amazon.com. There's the bubble wrap dispenser, fast pack packaging. Oh dang, I accidentally clicked something. But anyway, you see, we're, we're on the website now. Um, so we're on Amazon, I mean, there's a printer. Now something, something is interesting, um, and again, this is a workaround. I don't think this is supposed to be happening, so it's not gonna work as a traditional browser would, but you can actually add it to cart. You can actually, uh, no, I don't want a protection plan. You can actually proceed to checkout. This is where the problem comes in. You, you cannot um, pull up, a, uh, fill in any blanks. You can't pull up a keyboard in any way. I've double tapped it, tapped it, hold, hold it down. Uh, a keyboard will not pop up. This may be um, one thing they're working on before they add a add a browser. Who knows? Um, so so we've run into that. I've tried multiple commands. Um, you know, fill in blank, uh, all, all kind of things. Um, so I don't I, no help there. But you can research products. You can um, research pricing. You can read descriptions. Um, whatever. Hey Google, view images of bubble wrap dispensers from fast pack packaging. Sorry for the Showing shaky pictures that match. screen. So a couple of Amazons. Here's the fast pack packaging website, which is fastpack.net, that which happens to be our my website in full disclosure. So there's what we looked at for bubble wrap dispensers. Visit fast pack packaging. All right, so it should bring me to that bubble wrap dispenser page. All right. So now we're on the fastpack.net website. Um, uh, let's go look at all bubble wrap dispensers. Bubble wrap, bubble wrap dispensers, and then boom, uh, we're, we're on the Fastpack website. We can, same thing as the Amazon page. Well, first let's look, you can, you know, product description, just like you would on a mobile browser. You can, you know, this is, this is showing up exactly as it would on my phone right now. Uh, you can actually add to cart. Add to cart, all right, and you can actually, you know, proceed to checkout. 
problem is you can't fill in any blanks. You can't fill in a name. You can't, if, if you have an account already, you can't uh, enter your account information, your password. So you're, you're kind of stuck. So you can visit the website. You can view the price. You can, you can read articles. You can um, look at descriptions, uh, but you cannot make a purchase. Again, this is a workaround. It's not meant to. They don't have a browser built in yet. So again, this is just a workaround. Uh, it was a very important piece of getting the Google Home Hub for me. And so uh, this is a nice workaround for now. Um, anyway, what else? Oh, I found another little trick. Hey Google, view images of bubble wrap dispensers from fast pack packaging. <clears throat> All right. These pictures should match. So I'm looking for a YouTube video. Now, if you just search for, uh, if you ask it to play you a video of, let's say that bubble wrap dispenser, it'll bring you right to the YouTube app. We don't want that. Uh, you can't look at the description in a YouTube app. Um, Yeah, well, this isn't a bubble wrap dispenser, it's a stretch wrap dispenser, but uh, same thing. So, uh, so again, now, if you, op if you ask the Google Home Hub to um, play a video, um, it's going to bring you to the YouTube, like, app or whatever, and, play, and you can play the video. But it, there's no way to view the description, like if you type in what it is, put a link to the website, whatever. But searching images, okay, uploaded by Fastpack Packaging, visit YouTube. Now it brings up the it brings up this page, okay? It it's a terrible page. You know the video is small. You know take it, you know whatever a third of the page, whatever. Um, it's terrible. You would not want to watch a video this way. Um, again, if you want to watch a video, just ask um, the Google Hub to play video of whatever. Uh, this won't even this won't even play it, okay? I you know it won't even play the video, um, but. If you want to view the website, click the little down arrow for more information, and we have a link in here. Click it, and it brings you to that page. Um, appears to be a bad link, so I need to check into that. But again, it brings you to the website, and we can look around. We can do you know whatever we want to do, except check out you know, or do anything that uh, requires us to enter any kind of text. So anyway, a uh, little workaround if you want to surf the internet a little bit or view web pages, um, that's how you do it. Anyway, if you have any other tips or tricks or if there's an easier way that I just have not figured out yet, um, uh, so, you know, let me know, uh, leave a comment. Um, I'm going to be researching uh, more and more tips and tricks uh, to utilize this not only in my home but for business i mainly got it for business um you figure you know with the google home hub i'm not just going to say the word you know if i'm looking for bubble wrap i'm not just going to say bubble wrap anymore whereas in a computer if you know you type in bubble wrap but but now you're going to be saying you know buy bubble wrap or or where to buy bubble wrap or whatever and so uh, i wanted to use it as a learning tool and um start start learning how to use it for my business but again i i use this a lot well right now i have one and it's in my home i have another one on the way that i'll be using uh in my business so anyway uh subscribe if you're interested in learning more uh tips and tricks that i haven't found anywhere else um and i'm i'm gonna be sharing them as i find them okay well uh, that's it for now um talk to you soon